Hey everybody, Freddy here with another video. I know everybody likes a nice graphical interface when looking for information online. You grab your mouse, you start clicking around, you find the information, you get out, and you go on with your day. However, today I'm going to be focusing on the Azure Pricing API because it's a much faster way of finding information. I'm going to be showing you how you can query the Pricing API and how you can take this information throw it into a spreadsheet and automate the process of querying the API so you can have the latest price per hour or latest information about a VM and you don't have to be clicking around all the time. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get to it. Okay, so let's get started. Let's talk about the process that you would typically go through if you wanted to find the, pro the, the cost or the price of a VM. You can go to the Azure pricing calculator, go to the virtual machines, click on, on the virtual machines, and that's going to add something to your uh, system here. Then you select the region, West US. Let's just say that we're going to pick West US. We're going to say Linux. Ubuntu is fine. Standard tier is fine. And we're going to be looking at a, let's see, DS. D16 ASV5. So here it tells me that is 0 .0, 0 0.808 per hour. And if I multiply that times three, 730 hours, which is one month, it gives me the information of uh, what is the cost pay as you go. Uh, pay as you go in this case is $589.84 per month if I keep running this machine you know, 724 for the whole month. That's how much I'm going to pay. Now, this is okay. This is the way to find out the, 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 the information about pricing. And then you can add disks, you can add storage. And this is a great way to add, if you're gonna set up a system, this is a great way to go in and start, you know, integrating all the pieces to find out how much it's gonna cost you per month. And this is a great way of doing it. Um, another way of doing it is through the pricing API. The pricing API is a way that you can query. I'm going to open another tab here. It's prices.azure.com API retail prices. And what that does is it, if you go to that website, it gives you this information here. It gives you information about all VMs in Azure. And of course, if you look at this, you're gonna be thinking, wow, well, that's a lot of information. There's maybe more information that I really want to see or I can even consume. And that's true, You can. It, it's very difficult to, to go through this and see it. However, this is not the way to use it. The way that you would use it is you would go into, um, you know, a way that you can take a spreadsheet. I'm gonna use this because it's a lot easier to show you. I'm gonna use the um, a Google, Google Sheets this can be Excel. Excel is a little bit different on how you set up the query, but I will show you this um, Google Qu uh, Google Sheets way of doing. So what do I have here? I have the SKU name, I have the meter name, I have the region that I create, and uh, I will explain to you what this is. I have the region, the Azure region where this is, and it also tells me the price per hour. So if I say, okay, I'm looking for a DS, 16 SV5, um, this one in US East 2, this is uh, 0 0.768 per hour. And I, of course, I can set up a formula to multiply times 300, 730, and that'll give me the monthly price as well. So in other words, I can do pretty much all this, and I can set up this spreadsheet to give me all this information. So I don't have to go and query the uh, the pricing calculator every single time. If I just need to find out what is the price of a standard E64 in Australia East, for example, um, I can just you know do the, the API and I can get this information very quickly. Um, the pricing API is um, is a is a way that you can query it anonymously, so you don't have to authenticate. You can just query the API. You get all this information and what you do is you format it so it fits this and this is what I'm going to show you now. So 
the way that I that I format this, I call it my region here because this is this is the the region that I care about. For example, if I'm talking about EU North, Asher EU North region, I really don't know what that means, but for me, it means London. I'm going to set up a, I'm going to say anything that's EU North, I'm going to set it up as London. If it's US East 2, I'm going to say that that's going to be for Montreal, um, you know, so it's really up to you how you set this up. Different regions, if it's um, Australia, you can put on, put your own areas here. France Central is going to serve as Paris. That's what I did here. So how am I doing this? Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm taking this information and I'm formatting it. So I go to extensions, I go to app script in Google Sheets. When I go to that, what I'm doing here is I'm just creating, uh, let me see here. What I, what I, when I click there, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a JavaScript. Um, let me see if I can, yeah, there you go. So I'm, I have a JavaScript here that I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it available in GitHub that you can use. So I'm, I'm just setting up a variable, a couple variables here. I'm creating a dictionary that is going to translate the Azure regions that I want and it's going to translate them into my region. So again, when I see this um, France Central, Azure France Central region, I'm going to convert that to Paris because that's what that means for me. And then I just set up a function. Uh, what I do is I do the, the, I set up a variable, original link, and I set up this retail uh, it's the same thing that I showed you before. The only thing that I did is I set up the currency to USD or US dollars. And then I said, I just want compute. Just give me compute because the pricing API will give me pretty much everything. But in this case, all I care about is the, is the compute families. So I'm going to say service family equals compute. So this is the, what I'm querying here. And what this does is it, it gives me the information that I need of all the, of all the families. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm just taking the response that this is bringing and I'm throwing it into a variable called response. Then I'm just converting that to a JSON format. And then here I'm saying uh, the sheet um, and I'm just saying uh, setting up a, a variable called sheet and that that just takes the active sheet. And then I just go in and I said for um, for, for I, because it gives me a lot of different information, I set up a, a, a loop and that's going to take the information and just take the information like data that items and it's going to convert because it, it was converted to JSON, it's going to take that information and it's just going to save it in these variables here and it's just going to loop through and, and then it's going to take the sheet, which is the active sheet, and then it's going to take the K, which is the two here and it's going to say the, the 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 cell that I'm selecting to one and it's just gonna set the value to the arm skew name that's pretty much all it's doing so in other words two one which is two one or two a and it's just gonna set up the skew name and it's just gonna loop through and what it's doing is just setting up the SKU name on 21 and then 22, just the meter name on 25. It's going to set the location, which is the region. And then here is going to set up the dictionary data. And it's just going to say whatever, whatever region it is. And it's just going to translate it to, to my region. In this case, this is how I'm getting this my region. If it's EU North, it's going to be London. And that's all that is doing. And then it's gonna, on uh, this console log, I just did so I can see what is going on just for troubleshooting purposes. And then the TC location is none. That is pretty much all this is doing. And this code, again, is, is an example of what you can do with the Azure pricing API. And what this does is just sets, sets this up. And you can, again, this one um, will give you all VMs. So it doesn't matter which VM you're looking for. It'll give you spot instances as well. So as you can see here, this, the meter name, the SKU name is this, but this, this is actually a spot instance in Australia, Southeast. 
and that one is at 0 0.31 cents per hour, 0.3147 per hour. But the idea is that you can pretty much just find the, the VM that you're looking for. You can throw it into a spreadsheet and then from there you can do, you know, whatever you want to do with it. You can do um, searches for a specific one. You can do pivot tables. You can pretty much do anything from there and you can take this function. I'm going to make this available in GitHub so you can take this function and you can pretty much modify it however you want, however fits your need. I know this is something that is very beneficial as far as I'm concerned because I'm always looking for what is the region that has the best price or what is the, the place where I can run a workload and it's going to be lower cost than other regions. The nice thing about an API and setting up a system like this is that you only have to do it once. Then you can just run it and then that spreadsheet gets updated automatically. So I hope you learned something. If there's anything that I missed, please leave it in the comments down below. I love to read your comments. Anything I missed, please leave it in the comments down below as well. And I hope you learned something. And if you enjoyed this video, please like the video. This is helping my channel grow a little bit more. I'm really excited to see comments. I'm really excited to see new subscribers. I really enjoyed doing these videos. So I hope you learned something. And until next time, take care.